Everybody, today's Wednesday, March 23rd, 20, 2016, at 6.30 p.m. in the regular meeting of the Greensburg Redevelopment Commission is called to order. At this time, if everybody would please silence their electronic devices. And if everybody would stand, we'll begin our meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would you call roll call, please? Thank you. We have three three of our voting members here, so we have enough for a quorum, but I was not in attendance at the last meeting, so we don't have enough people to approve our minutes of our February 24th, 2016 meeting, so they will be tabled until our April meeting. It's also come to my attention after we have put the agenda together that we need to look at some change orders from phase one. So I'd like to amend our agenda and have the item, next item four on our agenda be update or approve change order for phase one. If we could make that in the form of a motion, someone to. I'll make a motion that we amend the agenda. And I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we'll amend our agenda. So now we'll go right to that order. Yes. Okay. So our next item on our agenda is um, change orders for phase one. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Foster Kemper, do you have anything to help us understand that better? Or I don't know if we have any questions, but if you want to add anything, please do. I think you all were given a copy or email a copy of the work agreement and change order number one. Yes. Um, to try to make it simple, on the first page, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine items that were actually not in the original contract. Um, the first one we had to do, if you'll remember, we had to use lime stabilization. It was called for, and we ended up having to replace the lime with cement. Are we looking at this? We're looking at this. It was emailed to you. I got an extra one. one look. But um, going through them, we had to add a 12 inch elbow and a water line because the existing pipe wasn't the angle we anticipated. You'll see we had to add a casting out by 421. We chose to use the rock rather than the hardwood mulch. We put the weed barrier underneath of it. Uh, type three barricades were the red and white barricades were added on the end of each of the dead ends. Um, there was two section corner monuments were disturbed during construction that had to be replaced. And there was a few signage changes. All the rest of the next four pages behind that so that our contract agrees with our final quantities Every single item that was not exactly on quantity was adjusted to balance that out. And as I explained to Dave, some we overran. We added some driveways. If you remember, we had an estimate for several, I don't know, $30,000 that we added some driveways. So that caused us to have more curb. It caused us to have more stone. It caused us to have more asphalt. Likewise, when we done 150, we had more asphalt, various types of asphalt. That we didn't use hardly any hardwood mulch, so that item came out. So everything is adjusted to the actual quantities rather than what was estimated at the start of the project. Back to page one, if you'll see, there was $65,613 worth of things that were added. And when we took all of our additions and deletions, additions and deletions, we had $41,883.86 increase over the original contract. So the summary, 
when it's all said and done, we went from 4,748,170 to 4,855,667,12. A difference of about $107,000. And I think Ron can verify that's just over 2% total changes and that's pretty astounding for a project. If you remember, we started out, I think we had a 10 or a 15% contingency when we started our budgeting back there three years ago. So all in all, it came out very well. And like I said, I've got two copies of this agreement already executed by Dave O'Mara. And if the board would... We need to approve the change order. You need to approve the work agreement change order number one. And that will finalize the contract amount. Okay. And then will we pretty well be all said and done with phase one? As soon as we pay the last two claims. Okay. Okay. One of them is the last bill that includes the change orders. And then the very last one is simply we held retainage out from them throughout the entire project. Okay. Every time they submitted a claim, we kept 10%. 10%. So now that they're all said and done, they kind of want their 10%. So we're going to approve just let's, the change order. Let's approve this change order it's first. It's not being billed yet. The bills have been here, yes. Okay. So we need a motion to approve this change order. I would make a motion to approve change order number one. I have a motion to approve the change order. Is there a second? So moved. Thank you. Any questions regarding the change order? Thanks for the explanation. Pardon? Thank you for the explanation. Oh, here you go. You already gave me. I know. I need you to sign both of them. Both of them? One will be for our copies, and one of them will be for Dave O'Mara. And that way both will have an original. <coughs> if there's no other questions, we'll conduct a vote for the change order. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion passes 3-0. Next item on the agenda then is update, update of project status for phase two. Mr. May or Mr. Foster, do you care to, <coughs> you to tell us? Good evening. Um, at your last meeting, you agreed to adjust the alignment of the new roadway in the vicinity of Broadway Street extended. And we have, since that meeting, instructed the design consultant to work on that. Um, I spoke with Patrick earlier this week and uh, just to check to see where things stand. And he told me that by the end of this week, they hope to have most of that redesign work done, which will uh, allow them to do complete the noise study component of the environmental document and a couple of other things. So that looks to hopefully will be wound up here very shortly. Um, by the end of March, they plan to start right-of-way engineering. Right-of-way engineering is not right-of-way acquisition. Right-of-way engineering is uh, preparing right-of-way plans that shows the, the locations and widths of the rights-of-way needed for the project. Uh, I believe title and encumbrance reports are included in right-of-way engineering. Um, so they will get the title work done on any properties that would be involved. They will start something known as appraisal problem analysis. And they look at each of the parcels that will be involved in the right-of-way acquisition and they um, they actually do a rough appraisal. It's, it's not a, a formal or final appraisal, but they basically get a handle on what work needs to be done to complete the appraisal process and the, and the um, review appraisals and preparation of offer letters and that sort of thing. But that part all comes later. But they're, they're prepared uh, to start on that, and by the 1st of June, they hope to have most of that work completed. As I said, the environmental is continuing. 
Um, they need to complete, as I also said, the noise analysis, and I think that's probably the last piece for the environmental document. The plan is to submit the draft categorical exclusion, which is the form of environmental document that we will have for this project. Their plan is to submit that by the middle of April. So that's a couple of weeks out, not, not too terribly far out. And we will hold a public hearing. It's a requirement of the federal highway funding. And we hope to be able to hold that hearing in mid to late May. In that hearing, we invite the public to come tell us what they think about the project and offer any uh, comments or concerns they might have. Um, and then we, and we'll be done through our consultant, will need to address any comments that are received. Um, some comments may be simply dismissed as um, not responsive to what we're doing. Uh, other comments, there might be some adjustment in our proposed improvement. Um, Generally, to have any significant impact, the comments need to be of true substance and they need to be of, a, of an environmental nature or perhaps a socioeconomic nature. If someone comes and says, we just don't like it, that's not a good enough comment to demand much attention. Um, but if, the, uh, if we hold the hearing in mid to late May, the uh, environmental documentation process. After the hearing, we have to offer a 30-day comment period, and then any comments received have to be addressed. And we submit all this to NDOT for their review. Now, technically, it's a Federal Highway Administration review, but NDOT becomes the agent of the Federal Highway Administration, and they are empowered to, to make that conclusion. So hopefully by early July to the middle of July, we will have our environmental process concluded. And at that time, we will be ready to proceed with the right-of-way acquisition process. At this point, I think we've laid all of the pieces in place. Uh, we have a signed agreement. We have a, a signed agreement with our consultant for the right-of-way acquisition services. Um, technically, you don't do that because NDOT won't let you do that. They require that the Board of Works does that. So the Board of Works has already seen the agreement. Uh, the services, <coughs> excuse me, the services here are first off highly regulated by NDOT, and interestingly enough. NDOT pretty much dictates the fees that are paid for these services. It's kind of a unit price arrangement where if you get paid so much for doing, there, there's like three different levels of appraisals. Um, if we take the building at Edgewater Apartments that we've talked about, that will be the highest level of appraisal. It will be the most sophisticated style or type of appraisal that's done. And NDOT dictates the fee for doing that. There will be review appraisals. NDOT sets the fees for that. Uh, there is a buying process. NDOT sets the fees for that. It's really pretty well structured and pretty well um, controlled. The first page. In the agreement or in Appendix A? I think it's in Appendix A. 114425 Yeah, $114,425 is the not to exceed amount. The reason it's the not to exceed amount is we could, as we do the appraisal problem analysis, we could find that we thought something was going to be a really low level and therefore less expensive amount. Uh, for the appraisal, and maybe it needs to move up to the middle step, and so it's going to cost a little bit more, or it could go the other way too. We could actually get by with a little less effort than we first anticipated. So, it, we will pay our consultant for the actual work that they do. This is uh, eligible for participation with federal funding, so it'll be 80% paid by the uh, federal government through NDOT, 
and 20% paid locally or through you all. Um, the $114,000 are acquisition services only. It's not the actual cost of purchasing the right of way. That's above and beyond. So, as I say, I think all of the pieces are in place at this point in time um, before we can move this forward. This has been marked, submitted, did not for their review. Yes, it's been a project manager. And they've agreed with this agreement. The next step that we have to accomplish before we can make significant progress with the right-of-way acquisition process is the completion of our environmental document and approval of that. And then when that's approved, we go to the state and ask for the actual money. We've got the big pot of money, but they have to tell us we can spend money on this when we get to this point. So when our environmental document's completed, hopefully in sometime in July, we'll be able to uh, get our approval from the state. They'll issue us a notice to proceed. We will then issue our consultant notice to proceed and the process will move forward. Ron, you had mentioned early on uh, uh, with the public meeting. Uh -huh. There's a 30-day window after that for the public to submit. Written or written comment, yes. Comments you may and then, you. and then we have 30 days to address those? Um, no, well, I don't know if there's a time limit for us, but typically that gets turned around in a week or two. Okay. And if they are, if somebody comes up with a really good comment that might require some real good research and evaluation and that sort of thing, it might take a little longer, but my experience having done this for 30 or 40 years, the comments usually aren't that substantive that you can't address them pretty quickly. We technically, I guess we technically do it, but our consultant will do it for us. Okay. So it should move along pretty efficiently after the hearing. Um, I, did we have a hearing mark for phase one? No. I would not, I would not, we might have good attendance at a hearing, but I think many of them may just be people interested in seeing what's going on. And I don't know that we will get a lot of comments. So, okay. questions? Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to give you a little information on this here. Okay. This this is one of our quarterly reports that are required to be submitted to MDOT. This is actually the one from January. And the part I wanted to bring to your attention is on page two, the funding. Um, as of right now, we seem to be doing very well. You'll notice how much they awarded for the estimated amount for the PE of 604. And it looks like our finalized contract will be 482610. So we're in good shape there. The right of way cost, they have estimated amount in there. You see 1.2, and the Fed will participate for the 1033 That will also include the $114,000 contract that Ron discussed with you earlier. And then once we have the APA that he talked about, the appraisal problem. Analysis. analysis. We will have a cost for what we believe each parcel will be, and we will submit those to get those fees programmed. The rest of them down through there are construction, <laughs> utilities, and then of course construction engineering throughout the construction process. And what we've seen so far for numbers, we think the funding is going to be more than adequate for the project. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is, is approval of claims, item A, phase two project claims. Uh, there's two claims here that we can, I think, take care of without too much discussion because we've had those. One is from American Structure Point for $2,628.25, and the other one from the Hamilton Tepe Law Office of $526.50. 
those add up to thirty one hundred fifty four dollars seventy five cents, which we can easily pay out of our eight hundred two fund. Um, I'd like to just just get that approved and authorized and dispensed. What was the total? Um, three thousand one hundred fifty four dollars seventy five cents. I would make a motion to approve both of those invoices. Thank you. And is there a second? So much. Thank you, Boyetta. If there's no discussion on those, I'll call for a vote. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion pairs, passes three to zero. And then we have two claims, one with change order. And we just received these today. <coughs> Mark, do you know the $66,629.70? That's, was that those, is that in regards to the that change order? The change orders, and that was the very last few things they done at the end of the project. Okay. In other words, we had some sign changes that went from Veterans Way to Memorial Way. So we changed some signs. They actually dug some last with a cleanup. Probably a major portion, if you remember, we had a driveway, a temporary driveway behind the apartment complex. They demoed that as common excavating, removed that, put that back to grade. Okay. And they just held that until they had everything finalized. But most of it is the additional items. Okay. So that's the bill for $66,629.70. And then we received one today. These are both from Mrs. O'Mara, right? Correct. Yes. And then we have another one to O'Mara. And is that that 10% that payment you project said? That we've kept throughout the entire project. And this is a much larger bill. It's $485,566.76. One more time. $485,566. Seventy-six cents. So that might have to be paid out of a out of a draw. Yeah. Where the, where the bill for sixty-six thousand six hundred twenty-nine dollars and seventy cents, which reflects those change orders and things Mark was talking about, that could probably be paid out of our regular eight hundred two fund rather than the construction fund. Okay. Any other discussion? Do we want to pay both of those tonight? You know, we, we've, we've said we'd like to have more time to review them, and we haven't had much time to review them. I think, as far as I'm concerned, we can pay them until next month, since we just got them. Um, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, but I'd, I'd like to have more of the board just to let them see that. We've told them in the process that we need our bills by the 15th of the month for us to have time to review them and process and consider them. So, do you know? Did we? Did you just get them today? I received them Monday, and I forwarded them to Ashley. I think late Monday or first thing Tuesday morning when I got the plane. Still have the 15th. So. Yeah. Chris, would you need a motion to table those or? Chris can, but yeah, you can go ahead and have a motion. Sounds like I'm the same place. I, if I can do that with my authority, I'll we'll table these until next month. So I think that has all the bills then to be paid. Board members have anything else to add? I think that pretty well concludes our agenda. There's what's on the agenda, but I <coughs> wanted to bring up and. There was a big fatality, as we're all aware, out on Moscow Road and, and Veterans Way. And of course, we had a property all driven in to see the issue up there. Is there anything we can do? It's kind of like my, my gut feeling on it is that number one, it was extremely unfortunate, and our hearts go out for family, both families.
first thought is that it's all new out there, and so people may not be familiar with the layout of it, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, there were no stop signs. Uh, is there anything, any thoughts, Mark, on what we could do, what we could do? To, it'd be ideal if it was lights out there. We are taking the <coughs> traffic committee. We will be meeting next week and talking about this situation. Okay. So that is on the agenda uh, for next week for us to meet with the uh, guys on traffic and discuss. We did finally get uh, the accident report. So uh, we'll be looking into it. Thank you. The accident was actually investigated by the state police at this point worked out that they were the first to thank and so they, they did the investigation and, uh, last week I think we got that report back from them yeah. and make some if there's nothing else then our next meeting will be April twenty seventh. Will that work with everyone? Does that work for you by a okay? Well then I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Here to second that, by Evan. All, all in favor? Aye. Motion carried. We're adjourned. Thank you all. Thank you.